So do you hate your boss? <laughs> Maybe you don't hate him. Maybe you just don't respect him. It's understandable. It's understandable. You know, when we go to work every day, what we don't see is what everybody else does around us. It's not possible. It's not possible to see everything that everybody does around us. But our boss, our boss, we think we know our boss. We think we know what he does, what he doesn't do, what he does poorly, what he does well. And that can lead to a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of uh, mistakes on your part. Because you don't know your boss. You don't know your boss as well as your boss doesn't know you. Think about that. Think about all the things that you do at work that your boss doesn't know about. Now think about the times you don't see your boss and what he or she is doing in that time. So yeah, you don't know your boss. Whether you like him or don't like them, it's almost irrelevant. It's nice, it's nice if you like your boss and it's nice to feel that uh, you're working for someone you like. But at the end of the day, where do you go from here? If you don't like your boss, you do like your boss, where does that take you? Well, let's think about it. Let's think about your future. Let's think about what's best for you and your future. So if you like your boss or don't like your boss, think of it as a glimpse into the future. Think about it as, is this who I am going to become? If you like your boss, okay, okay. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you learn from your boss. Maybe you learn the right things to do so you can become the person that your boss is. Maybe a better version. Maybe you look for the mistakes that they made or are making. Talk to them. Find out. Find out what, what they can do for you, what you can do for them. Find out what you can learn going into your future. If you don't like your boss, same thing stands. Talk to them. Figure it out. Figure out why they're in this position. Maybe you don't want to be the boss. Maybe when you become the boss where you work, this is what you become. No one starts off as a bad person. You know, you find your way there. You find your way into a spot where people think you're bad. It's very rare that people themselves think of themselves as bad at least in the long term. You know, we are trying to find better ways of doing things, of being better in our lives. And taking a promotion isn't the natural thing to do. You know, you've worked hard, someone saw that, someone saw something in you, and so they promoted you. And now this is your opportunity, you think, to make your life better and those lives of the people around you better. Sometimes it doesn't work out and it can be your fault, maybe your fault, or it could just be things beyond your control. If you don't own the company, if you don't make all of the decisions, well then it's unlikely that you are responsible completely for what's going on in the office around you. Now you may take responsibility, and that's a sign of a good boss, but ultimately you are not responsible for everything that goes on in there. There are decisions above you that you quite simply didn't make, may not understand fully, and may not agree with, whether that's the case or not. If you're not the boss, if you're not the owner, excuse me, then those are the things that you come up with. Those are the things that happen to you all the time. And the further you are down the line, the lower you are on the boss scale, the fewer of those decisions you're going to make and the fewer of those decisions that you're going to fully understand. It's not because you're not intelligent. It's because the rationales of all the people above you that made those decisions and how they got down to you, you won't understand that. It's impossible. It's impossible because there's different reasons that things happen in a business, especially in a corporation, a very long corporation with lots of uh, different bosses. There's different reasons why they made those decisions. It could be out of fear, it could be out of just compliance. There's a lot of reasons that decisions are made. And when you go to school or just when you're growing up, you might think to yourself, 
you know, these decisions are all made for money. Unfortunately, that's, it's not that simple. It's not that simple. Maybe the very person at the very top wants to make money. We all want to make money. But maybe the decision that came from this person who ultimately made the decision benefits them. It may not benefit everybody down below. It may not even benefit the owners. Think about that. Of course, that's true, right? When uh, somebody is in management, upper management, when someone is the CEO, when they make a decision about their salary, they're not doing it to necessarily benefit the owners. They want to take as much salary as they can get, as much bonuses as they can get. So all of those decisions are not going to be about making the owners money. It's a very simple way to look at things. Now think about all the people in between you and the boss, the big boss, the CEO, all of those bosses and all of their decisions. Now all along the way, some of them may have been nibbling. Some of them may have just been agreeing to agree. Some of them may actually believe it's a good move for the company. Some of them may be agreeing that it's a good move for them. But why is it a good move for them? May depend. Like I said, there's so much going on in these large corporations, even in smaller ones, even if you're only a couple bosses down, you know, knowing exactly what your bosses, 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 bosses are thinking and why they're thinking that, you don't know. Maybe, maybe the decision was there because they have a friend who owns a, a ranch, right? I mean, think about this. You know, uh, maybe all of a sudden, you know, you have a new restaurant where you work and you don't understand why this restaurant is there. It may sound like a great idea. Ooh, the other restaurant was popular, but maybe this restaurant, all the beef is supplied by a ranch that your boss's friend owns. You know, you, you won't know about all these little things going on. And now if you are in a situation where you are working for a boss who has many bosses and he comes down to you, and he makes a decision you don't like, if you expect him to understand that, if you expect him to understand why these decisions were made, maybe even if he does, he may not be able to explain it to you. And it might look, make him look like a real jerk. And that's okay. It's okay, that's just the situation we find ourselves in sometimes. Sometimes the best we can do is being in a situation where we look like a jerk. Wow, that doesn't mean we don't change that. That doesn't mean we don't work on that. There's a lot of things in life that we can do to make things better. Now, think about that. Think about that situation. Think about the situation you're in. Now, think about your boss and take him or her as a glimpse of your one potential future. Is that a future you're really interested in? Yes, your boss probably makes more money. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe he makes more money. Maybe he definitely has more power within the organization. But is that something you want to turn into, this person? Because that is a distinct possibility that your boss is more like you than you think he is. And maybe this is the person you turn into when you become the boss ultimately if you're even able to become the boss. Now you can look at it and say, hey, of course, you're gonna be different because everybody's gonna be different. And you will be, and you will be, but there are certainly things your boss does and is inundated with that you aren't presently. So the possibility is very real that you are gonna turn into your boss. So at least a part of your boss, right? At least a part. Maybe the part you don't like. So what do you do? Well, there's a lot of things you can do. One, you can start trying. It's okay to be the boss, like we said. It can be wonderful. But maybe try to learn from your boss. Talk to him. Talk to your boss and find out why these things exist. You can be frank, right? Can you? Can you be frank with your boss? Hopefully. It's nice to actually hear people be frank with you. 
But to do that, you must make them feel as though they're allowed to be frank. You know, we live in a somewhat politically correct world, and it can be very difficult to be honest with people all the time because you may not want to hear what they have to hear, and they don't want to suffer the repercussions of that. You know, the, it's a real possibility that you don't like your boss because your boss doesn't like you. Can you handle that? Can you handle the boss telling you they don't like you because they don't think you do a good job? Because you do this, because you do that, you do things that you're not supposed to do? That they feel that you're undermining them? Are you prepared for that? But try to learn. Try to learn from them. You know, try to be frank. You know, tell them, yes, I want to hear this. If you don't think I'm good, I want to hear it. Now, your boss is probably going to sugarcoat it even if you told them directly you want to hear it. You want to hear the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth. They are probably going to sugarcoat it. That's all right. You know, once again, that's all right. So speak frankly to your boss and ask them frank questions and expect frank responses and request frank responses. Take this time to truly learn. To truly learn. You know, it's it's so easy to find yourself in a situation where you think you're good, where you think, hey, I do a good job. Because in this world right now, in this business world, in the United States, you're not allowed to tell people you're lousy without, you know, three or four people from HR being in the room monitoring every word that you say. You know, but some people need to be told this. So how do you tell them? It's very, very difficult in this modern world. It's very difficult to give honest feedback. Hey, you do a great job 90% of the time, but 10% of the time you're absolutely lousy. I mean, imagine that, being lousy 10% of the time, but thinking you're great because 90% of the time you do a good job. You know, how many jobs can you do be lousy 10% of the time and still think that you're the greatest? You know, maybe if you're a uh, uh, a basketball player and you're shooting <laughs> or you're a baseball player and you're batting you know, they're like, yes you know, in these rare instances being 90% great and 10% lousy is probably a great deal but at work you know, usually what we're looking for is consistency like 99% consistency 99.999 what do they call that? Six Sigma? you know, 999999 are you 999999? Probably not. But, you know, we, uh, we get to fool ourselves these days. You know, all this being raised in this polite society. This is what happens in polite society. You know, you're afraid you're going to get sued, so you can't tell somebody so they can improve. You know, or you, or you can find a nice way. You can find a nice way to tell somebody that they're doing a terrible job. You know, it's just, you know, I, I don't know what to do. I can't be honest with the people because it's not allowed any longer, right? As a boss, it's not allowed to be honest. So can you handle it? Can you handle it? Can you handle your boss being honest with you? You know, pulling you aside. <laughs> See, you can't even do that, right? I can't even pull you aside and talk to you in private, right? Because now you can say, oh, they did something in private they're not supposed to. Like, and you can even be honest with them. Say, oh, they, they pulled me in private to tell me I'm a terrible employee. <laughs> but are you? Probably. Like nowadays, it's amazing. It's amazing how terrible people are. That being said, maybe you are a great employee. Maybe you need to hear that in a frank conversation, in a conversation where your boss, you know, is allowed to tell you all these things, but at the end of the day, they think you're a great employee. You know, but how would you know? How would you know unless they were being perfectly frank with you? Completely frank, right? It's, so take that, take the opportunity. You like, you don't like, learn from your boss. Learn, is this the future that you want? Is this the future 
that's going to be yours. You know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You know, it's not destiny in either way. You can make changes. So find out what changes you can make. You know, it, your boss might be willing to tell you, oh, the reason why we did this is because the, you know, the VP of marketing really likes this company. And so we had to use this company even though they do a terrible job. Okay. You know, you know it might explain things to you. It might help you understand. It might help you understand the limits of your boss's power and the limits of your power if you ever were to become the boss. So think about these things, you know. I know it can be very upsetting, some of the decisions that come down in your life that you have no control over. So think about that. Think about it, and ultimately, if these things truly bother you, think about a way to move yourself from the situation. If it bothers you that other people make decisions that greatly affect your life and your well-being, maybe you need to be more independent in your life. Maybe you need to go out and find something else outside of it. You don't let it destroy you. Hopefully it lets you motivate yourself to become something better for you. Now that's not always the case. It's not always the case that, you know, not everybody needs to go become an entrepreneur. But you need to enjoy your life. There's lots of ways to enjoy it. There's lots of ways you can do it to learn to enjoy your life. Figure out a way to do it. And I'm not talking about being happy. I'm talking about feeling as though you have control of it. There's many, many things you can do. We'll talk about some of these things as we go on right now. I just want you to think about that. Think about your boss. Think about your feelings toward your boss. And use that as a glimpse into your future. Thank you so much for watching.